Thank you, V Potus. Please pick up your Puck Putin t shirt at stephaniemiller.com. It's the last time I'll say it because I know it. Yeah, be careful. Very yeah, easily. I don't trust you with that. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, wow. What a po- what a president on President's Day. There he is. Mm-hmm. Surprise trip to Kiev. Uh, repledging support on the one-year mm-hmm. anniversary of the uh, the uh, terrorist attack, the Russian yep. terrorist attack on women and children, etc., in Ukraine. Uh, good for him. And oh. Zelensky's wife is hot. Holy yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Well, yes. Well, thank you for that rather gotten, like, shallow observation. <laughs> that's the first time I've gotten like a really good look at her. I'm like, oh damn, he scored. You know what? <laughs> when a gay man says a woman is hot, that's that's a high compliment. Yeah. Hot or, that, hot is or a, not, that is like hot or not genocide version. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, liberal redneck is coming up on the big. Sh- it's we're not slacking on President's Day, are we? No, no. Which is why we got okay, and also a love letter that made us cry. Oh, 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 yeah. We don't normally, but this is okay. Uh, this came to you, uh-huh. Chris. Yep. I know you're a devoted cat dad, uh, and that everyone on the show is a big animal lover. Yes, I wanted to share with you a little story about my kitty RJ, who died this morning, and. Oh. The Stephanie Miller Show. I was working for a regional airline in Atlanta uh, when one of our mechanics found a tiny orange and white kitten in the hangar parking lot. I took him home, named him RJ. Every morning I got ready for work, listening to the Steph Cast 495, etc., etc. Gling. (laughs) Thank you. It was nice to put the the commercial in there. there. Yes, yes. Uh Uh, I'd sing along to the show's theme song to him, substituting his name at various points. Yes, cat people are weird. Yes. I kept doing this even after I left the airline and went back to grad school in New Jersey a couple of years ago. I adopted I, I adopted him in the Walking on Sunshine era through the Fight Song era. <laughs> RJ was a resilient little guy overcoming his genetic heart condition like a champ, but cancer turned out to be the one thing he couldn't quite beat. Oh. As my husband and I drove him to the vet to say our final goodbye, we played Fight Song and Walking on oh. Sunshine, literally sprinkling in his name. I hope it helped him remember some healthier times. We made that difficult trip. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thanks to you all for the laughs and the crying on the radio, the Senator Fart Joke, Senator Fart Joke Excellence, for being a part of my and RJ's life together through some strange years. Your loyal staff head, James, in Princeton, New Jersey. P.S. Can I be the official former airline cartographer, current doctoral student in religious studies of the Stephanie Miller? Wow! Military. That That's just opened up, so yeah, you are lucky. Yes. Oh. Here's RJ. You need yeah. a specialist like that. RJ's yeah. a pretty kitty. Oh, RJ's a super pretty kitty. We are so sorry, Robert. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Um, so, yes, I, wow, I'd say a pretty excellent patch, Andrea Mitchell, for Joe Biden, <laughs> right? Ha- handled the Chinese fly bal- uh, spy balloon flawlessly, right? Went over to uh, Kiev in a surprise visit. Huh. She's still befuddled by that. Yeah. Who? Andrea Mitchell. Oh, I mean, yes. she's always befuddled. Yeah, yeah. Well, because unless there's a Biden bad in there somewhere, it's hard not to. Okay. All right. Uh, Representative Steve Cohen uh, talking about... Oh, he... <laughs> He Marjorie, had the tea. Ta- Marjorie he had the Taylor Green at the Chinese balloon hearing. She's such a just international embarrassment. Oh, yeah. I went to a classified briefing last morning, I believe it was, and it was on the balloon, the first balloon. There was a good crowd there, and there were six or seven administrative leaders, uh, the general in charge of ORAD, and uh, either deputies or leaders of the security agencies, and they made a nice presentation on how we were concerned about collateral damage to people if we shot the balloon down over the United States. Three buses, 200 feet. If it's shot down, will it hit people? You don't want it to get anybody to die, et cetera, et cetera. And they, they explained it well. Yeah, so, uh, he went on to this say. This is good, you know? Yeah. And then? At and the then. end, there were only about 10 of us left in the room. And Marjorie Taylor Greene got up and oh. had her chance to speak. Oh, God. And she got up and she, it was unbelievable. I mean, I, I waited to see her because I knew it would be a show. Oh, boy. And she got up and she says, I'm just going to speak to you like the average American. I'm mm-hmm. going to let you know what I think, like the average American would like to do it. Do you embarrass the president of the United States? He let this balloon fly over the over the United States, but there was no press in there. And she went, we didn't know what was in that balloon. It could have been nuclear material. It could have been radiation. We didn't know what was in that yeah. balloon. And you let it fly over our country for eight days. That would just, it was bull. And I don't believe anything you're telling us. And you're giving us a bunch of um, we think and we might and this and that. Huh. <clears throat> yes, if it had uh, contained us. nuclear material, certainly a uh, Schlitz can would have uh, taken care of that. Mm-hmm. Look at that thing up there. I'm going to shoot down. Throw me a Schlitz at that. Pew, pew. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Because didn't she also previously uh, encourage Americans to shoot it down? Yeah. Yeah. So, With yeah, guns. I see. So there could have been a, a nuke in there, but you also should have, uh, yeah, throw a shit. Oops, pardon me. I, I meant to say schlitz. schlitz. See, you meant to say this schlitz. is why I can't say puck. Food. No, don't. Ah, you ju- ah, da, da. I said it right. Stop it. Okay. Don't tempt fate, lady. It's President's Day. They're listening. You cursed on your own show. I didn't mean to. I meant to say schlitz can. Okay. What kind of dogs do you have? Hmm? <laughs> don't don't make Chris's day longer. Okay, let's do one more. Steve Cohen. Then she finished her diatribe, and there was nobody there to listen to it. About ten of us, and and then the, one of the fellows up on the panel. I was proud of him. He he started speaking and responding to her, and she interrupted him, and he jumped by right in. He says, "Ma'am, I didn't interrupt you. Oh, and I appreciate you're not interrupting me. Oh, and she shut up." <laughs> But she's unbelievable. She made a fool of herself. She made a total, absolute fool of herself. Didn't know what she was talking about. And it was just typical of her, you know, Jewish space lasers and all that kind of stuff. Oh, boy. Mm. They're part Yorkie. And Shih Tzu. And part Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Mm-hmm. That, which makes this a show every day, doesn't it? Just like a Shih Marjorie. show? Yes. A Shih Tzu show. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What does Don Jr. think? Oh, God. Does he still have thoughts on the Chinese balloon? Oh, dear. Uh-huh. Yeah, here we go. I'm sorry. Time. Definitely the person you want in charge when dealing with foreign objects of unknown propulsion systems uh, like an alien invasion. He will do great, guys. And we're probably dead. But again, as t- if he's ruled out aliens, a top U.S. general says he hasn't ruled out anything. So we haven't ruled out anything. Mm. We haven't ruled out aliens. Mm. Um, it may be China. This guy hasn't ruled out aliens. Mm. That is where we are, folks. So good luck. And if the aliens come, um, I'm sure Joe will botch that like he has everything else. Have a good one. Mm. Or maybe there's something else influencing what you see. Don Jr. on Coke. Yeah. Don Jr. on Coke. Okay. I'm trying to Clyde. do it in between barks. I thought Don Jr. on Coke. Coke. <laughs> Sorry. That was good. That was nicely done. Don Jr. is on Coke. There. Okay. okay. Now All we right. got it. Whew. Got one in. <laughs> He's just mad that Joe shot it down. That he shot it down. Edward in Vermont. Hey, Ed. Welcome. Yes, Stephanie. I was wondering why you don't uh, talk about the uh, rally, uh, the uh, Rage Against the War Machine rally that took place in Washington, D.C. yesterday. Uh, did you send out a press release about it? Well, no, no. Why not? It, it was, it was a, <laughs> how, how can how can the press report on something that they don't know exists? I don't have a headless entity to right. tell me things that happen in the wind, but I. Well, you see, I think it's mostly because uh, you would people would find out that the real left in this country doesn't support. Uh, the military industrial complex okay that's awesome but you need to let us know Uh, about events so that we can report on on them war is a defensive war Uh it is not an attack uh i'm sorry are we are we talking about ukraine are you talking about ukraine yes i'm talking about Ukraine. okay so that's that's not a war that's a that's a terrorist attack on a a sovereign nation that, uh, we don't. Have, an, we don't have any by an enemy there. who is targeting women and children in hospitals and schools. That that is not a war. And we haven't sent troops there. Okay, but thanks for calling <laughs> and holding for an hour and a half. Why didn't Just you report on something that we yes, sent a press release about? I'm sorry, no news organization was talking about that yesterday, sir. Oh dear. Because Paula. because they didn't send out a press release. That's Paul. Their, that's on them. That's on them. <laughs> Nashville. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Okay. All right. This wow. Gonna, it's going to be one of those. Oh! Sorry. You're too late, dude. <laughs> it's going to be you know one what? of those That was mornings. the eight-second delay. He was listening to the radio <laughs> yeah, and not uh-huh. to us on the phone. All right. Let's try Mike in Chicago. Hi, Mike. Welcome. Hey, Steph. Hey, gang. Um, let's have a little game this morning. Andrea Mitchell's husband, Alan Greenspan. Yes. How many books has he written with the word capitalism in there? Let's start there. Yeah. Um, I just can't ever think I'm of him without thinking about how long he spends in the bathtub and how wrinkly he must be. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm going to date myself. I brought this. I <laughs> called in back in the Rebecca days. Oh, wow. And still there's, there's no answer to this. <laughs> my ex or my screener? So- <laughs> oh, both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
how do we start a protest to have Fox's press credentials revoked from the briefing room? The Inquirer isn't allowed to have press credentials. Why yeah. is Fox? Yeah. They're the ones who started that Helen Thomas when they, when they uh, had her chair revoked and then Major Garrett took her front row seat. It's so despicable, and yet nothing is being done about it. It's just, it makes my head explode. Yep, yep. Oh, there it goes. Like scanners. Um, yes, lawyers representing the Dominion voting systems unearthed a message from Fox News Mowi about a Womo. Hello. Hello. In which she expresses a distaste for uh, talking about having a peaceful transition of power to Joe Biden for fear of alienating Trump uh, voters. Oh, that'd be a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a text message uh, sent to Bartiromo from her producer, uh, she said, uh, to be honest, our audience doesn't want to hear about a peaceful transition on the grounds they still have hope of Trump remaining in power. Yes, agreed. Maria wrote back. So we're yeah. just going to so make up You don't want to upset them. You don't want to, uh, no, you know, you don't want to report like, ah, you know, facts. So we'll, ah, ah, too fragile. Yeah, so we'll take the word of the headless time traveling lady. Yes, that lady. Um, how about these Rupert email, Rupert Murdoch emails to the president of Fox News? Uh, you know, talking, uh, why do we have to, do they have to be called a news organization? They are obviously a outwardly, yes, a propaganda, Republican, a right wing propaganda network. Um, he charitably stated the nutty voter fraud claims of Rudy Giuliani should be taken with a grain of salt. Um, uh, his Yes, the, oh, we remember the slogan, fair and balanced. He said the network's efforts should be focused on helping Republicans win the Senate seats. He said Trump is toast. But let's, 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 as in let's, us and the Republican Party, since we are an arm of the Republican Party and not a news organization. <laughs> Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. I hope you'll join me on my new audio podcast, Justice Matters. I'll be using my 30 years as a federal prosecutor and Army JAG to unpack, break down, and explain the legal issues of the day, particularly where the legal intersects with the political. Please look for Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner wherever you generally get your podcasts.